Okay, 4.3 bisectors. Remember what a bisector is. A bisector is something that cuts a line segment or an angle in half using two equal parts. So our objective is to identify and use hypotheses of perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors in a triangle. So remember, perpendicular, symbol for that, just like that, that means 90 degrees. Bisectors cut things in half. So a perpendicular bisector cuts a line in half, and an angle bisector cuts an angle in half. So a perpendicular line is a bisector is a line ray or segment that is perpendicular to a side of the triangle at its midpoint. Notice it does not have to come from a vertex. So in our first example, we have this mark and this mark equal, meaning that E is the midpoint. But notice that for D, E to be perpendicular, it is not coming from the vertex. But in our second triangle, we have equal side segments. So D is the midpoint. And BD is our perpendicular bisector. It's perpendicular to the base, AC, and cuts AC completely in half, exactly in half. So BZ is a perpendicular bisector. Draw it on the picture. Okay, so this is actually a good talking point because BZ as a perpendicular bisector is actually not possible. So if you drop the line straight down from B, like so, and made it perpendicular, it would have to come down straight down and intersect OI at 90 degrees. Well, you can clearly see that this and this are not equal to each other. So if we made BZ right here, it would be perpendicular, but not a bisector. So if we want to say BZ is perpendicular to OY, we can do that. It just won't be a bisector. Now, let's go back and make a bisector. But to do that, we will need to say something like XZ. So what we do is we find our midpoint, and we can measure, or you can estimate in this case, and say, that's my midpoint. There's another one, I want to make this X and Z. And you just do this, do this, and now you have marked it perpendicular and bisecting OY. Angle bisector, a segment that cuts an angle into two equal angles. And it must come from a vertex, because that's where the angle is. So notice AB cuts angle A into two equal segments. Now this we can do. BZ is an angle bisector. So what we want to do is we want to draw BZ somewhere like that to where these look pretty equal. If you want to be specific, you can get out a uh, protractor and measure the angle and divide it by two and then mark it. We will have to be specific later with that, but for just the rough notes, we can just kind of have a sketch it right now. But in the room, we can use the um, protractor. Okay, triangle MIT. MO is an angle bisector. So let's just make a triangle. And MO is an angle bisector. So this
this is where M is going to be split. So MIT. MO is an angle bisector. So I want to cut this angle in half to make this section and this section equal to each other. IMO is 2x plus 8. And TMO is 6x minus 12. Find x and IMO. So first off, we set them equal to each other because we know a bisector cuts into two equal parts. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Cancel that. I'm going to add 12 to cancel this. That gives me 4x equals 20. Now when I divide by 4, I get x is 5. Now be careful and pay attention to what it asks you to find. x and IMO. So IMO comes up this way and comes down this way. So that's this angle right here. You gotta make sure it's not asking for IMT, which would be the whole angle at the top. So we're plugging 5 into 2x plus 8. So angle, the measure of angle IMO is 18 degrees. So is TMO. And angle TMI would be 36 degrees. PUT. US is a perpendicular bisector. Is 
SU is appropriate for bisector of angle TSR, find F. So once again, notice these are congruent, but these are going to be congruent also because it's a bisector. So we set these two equal to each other. 5x minus 30 equals 2x plus 24. Subtract 2x from both sides and add 30 to both sides. You can do this in two step or one step, whatever you're comfortable with. The 30s cancel and the 2x cancel. I get 3x is equal to 54. Divide by 3, x equals 18. And if we plug them back in, we find out that they are, in fact, equal to one another. Okay, angle bisector theorem. If a point lies in the bisector of an angle, then the point is equidistant from the sides of the angle. So, you see here how these are equal to one another. then any point like P there is going to be equal from either side. So PX is equal to PY. And notice these are perpendicular. So since this is an angle bisector, this is equal to this. 4X minus 1 is equal to 2X plus 5. Subtract 2x from both sides, and add 1 to both sides. Cancels. I get 2x equals 6, divided by 2, x is 3. We plug it in, we find out that each angle is 11. Now, RU is a bisector, an angle bisector. We see 19 and 19. This distance here and this distance here are equal. So 2x plus 5 equals 7x. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, which gives me 5 is equal to 5x. Divide by 5, and x is 1. 